another episode of DE KB7 QHC. I'm Richard Clark, KB7 QHC. And in today's uh, episode, I'm going to go into uh, antennas, uh, not your normal amateur radio antennas, not your normal AM or FM antennas, but antennas that I've found in the Navy. Uh, while aboard ship, various ships, uh, cruisers and frigates. So let's move right into it. Hope you enjoy this. Here we have, we're looking up the mast. And the mast here reveals, right here, a radar. There's a, uh, looks like a UHF or VHF, VHF, some UHF. Uh, and if you notice this little netting here, that's HF. That's an HF and uh, a, sc a screen of uh, long wires. Moving on, uh, this is aboard the USS Rents uh, FFG 46. Uh, both of these are HF antennas. I recognize them from the service. Here's an another radar. Up here we have a, oh, looks like about a six meter antenna with a radome right next to it. Uh, similarly, there's a radome right here and right there. I'm sure there's other antennas in this, but uh, we'll just move on. This is the USS Cleveland LPD-7. Um, so it's a landing ship. And you can see, once again, we have HF antennas galore here, here, here. Uh, squinting. Radar up here. Some uh, UHF antennas up here. <coughs> and various radomes here, 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 behind the stack. Here. Did I say up there? <laughs> and certainly down there. Radomes all over. Uh, this is the this is the frigate again, and looking from the other end, and we can see there's quite a lot of development area here. That uh, the, the radar here, but uh, again, mm, HF antennas at the fore as well as at the aft, and some VHF maybe six meters. Now here's a very curious one that uh, should get your interest. You'll notice the drooping uh, top load and uh, we have radials coming out the bottom. You'll notice there's this little gap in here that probably separates the ground portion, the radials, from the driven portion which is a top loaded vertical that's been split and has, well, that's, uh, that's just holding them apart. It has no, I think that's purely mechanical. Now you want to me, you want to me know what, what, uh, what in the world? Droopy top hat? Well, this isn't, I would suspect this is uh, fashioned for uh, broader uh, bandwidth. Because in the Navy, you don't want to be tuning antennas too much when you're getting into a circuit. So you want to be able to switch frequencies and just transmit. Here we have a couple of others. Well, this is, again, the one we saw before. And here's another one uh, that uh, looks like it's just aft of it. And it has this peculiar center loading. Uh, I can't say that I'm familiar with these, but uh, you might find them interesting. Well, shipboard Gatling gun, we can skip that. But we can look at the radome that controls its uh, aiming. There'd be a radar in there, of course. And there's a full-size radar up here. And again, a view of the HF antenna system. and two HF verticals. It might be more proper to call this, well, HF, yes, but 
perhaps medium or long wave. So, oh, and this little, you know, let's zoom in on this. It's a little blurry, but this is, uh, this is distinctly a radiative element. Its purpose, I have no idea. Uh, I just caught it right now looking at these, so we'll move on. Okay, again, twin uh, uh, HF verticals. Looks like the, they're powered to lay over when uh, you have helicopter landing there or, or, gun, or uh, missiles firing over the deck. Now, here's an interesting... Uh, in, uh, this material is about, oh, what, quarter inch, half inch thick. This is a foam covering that's RF absorbing material on, on the side of the ship. And you can see where the uh, ship structure is uh, exposed to this uh, weld for this stub here. Okay, this is... Uh, a lot of, uh, <laughs> well, a lot of hardware views. Let's, I, I'm illustrating principally these, this uh, covering that I showed earlier that surrounds all these uh, tripod uh, areas. But if we zoom in some, well, again, we, uh, these are antennas that we saw earlier from a better perspective. Uh, now this, to me, appears to be what's called an adcock antenna. In other words, each of these is uh, phase-driven differently from the others to uh, beam steer. And it's an interesting topic that I'll cover later. Ah, uh, and this is a dis uh, biconical. This is a biconical. This is one of the first antenna types from Shikolnikov. Uh, and his uh, works on uh, uh, specifying uh, the antenna, and this would be a form. I've, I've mentioned this uh, before in terms of uh, building cages. These are cages, and this is a conic section. This is another cage in a conic section, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, uh, that's, that, that almost represents a solid uh, metal cone here and a solid metal cone here driven in the center. So this would be the, the ground side, this would be the hot side. Uh, separation is kind of wide, but still, this is... Uh, Judging by its size, it looks like it probably covers the UHF band, uh, naval frequencies of 225 to 400 megahertz. Here we have, uh, well, this is a VHF, UHF log periodic uh, array. And it may be, it may not be fully uh, these two points should be probably spread out some so that it comes together at more of an angle and this appears to be the closed uh, section because the elements are so closely over overlapping here in this. That's uh, not uh, standard uh, design, but I might be wrong. I kind of doubt it. I don't have anything else to uh, offer from this suite of pictures, and then we're back. So, time to return to the uh, studio. So, um, log periodics, biconicals, um, uh, HF wire antennas, HF verticals, UHF, VHF, SHF, it's all covered there. And some that you find as uh, rather thick designs, rather than being, say, one inch or maybe even, well, one inch pretty hefty uh, tube. These are, what, three to five inches? 
that t typically, well, that's Navy service, of course, wartime conditions, but also it uh, lends to wider bandwidths, which is uh, very favorable for communications and changing frequencies on the fly so that you don't have to uh, uh, tune up each time. So, a little survey of Navy antennas. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you soon. Bye.